When it comes to the storyline of black people in America, it has been one of obstacles, triumphs, and oppression, mainly filled with a reminder of being excluded from the top. Now many other races had to deal with an identity crisis, the war on drugs, systematic welfare, poor education, poor health care, housing discrimination, wealth gaps, and more. This conditioning of a people can create a lack of self-esteem, so when given the opportunity to find a sense of value, it's worth so much more. Hollywood for a few selected has become a path to overcome the obstacles just mentioned. However, it appears that being black in Hollywood comes with a hidden contract, the one strike rule. In 2019, Jonathan Majors would find himself in the lineup of up and coming leading black actors when he would hit the screens in the Joe Talbot film, The Last Black Man in San Francisco. Soon after, he would then star in the HBO series Lovecraft Country, followed by Netflix's The Five Bloods and The Heart of They Fall. At the top of 2023, Jonathan Majors was not only the biggest rising black actor, but he was easily the hottest upcoming actor by appearing in the hit films Ant Man and the Wasp and Creed 3 in theater simultaneously. Majors was on top of the world. Fast forward to December 19, 2023, he would find himself guilty of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment with his ex-girlfriend being the victim. And in less than two hours after it was announced that he was found guilty, Major then would be fired by his biggest client, Marvel, for the role of Kang and their future projects. This quick firing would spark his own controversy causing many to point out the hypocrisy of black superstars versus their counterparts. It appears that second chances don't apply for black stars in Hollywood. Unlike Hugh Grant, who solicited a prostitute, Vince Vaughn, who was arrested for public fighting, Robert Downey Jr., known for his extensive drug use, Mark Wahlberg, who was arrested for assault, and Sean Penn, who assaulted an extra on set. Despite these examples, Majors may have overlooked his warning sign. Before Jonathan Majors, fellow actor Nate Parker would face a similar path, one where his personal life would derail his career. Despite being found not guilty, the one-strike rule looks to still have been applied. While promoting his film 2016, Birth of a Nation, the story of Nat Turner, it revealed that Parker, nearly 17 years before the film in 1999, would be accused of rape, along with co-writer of the film Jean Migiani Celestin at the age of 19, while both were students at Penn State. Parker would later be acquitted after going on trial and received a not guilty verdict, and Celestin would originally be found guilty, but years later that would get overturned after an appeal. As the information of his past began to circulate, it appeared that Parker's path as the next Denzel, due to his roles in films like Pride, The Great Debaters with the real-life Denzel Washington, Red Tails, and Beyond the Lights, was soon coming to a halt. Things would slow down even further when it was revealed that his accuser would kill herself back in 2012. During an interview with Anderson Cooper for 60 Minutes, Parkers would face the allegations, but due to his response not being empathetic enough for some, allowed the derailing to push ahead. The following morning, Parker would speak with Robin Roberts to again face the noise, where while slightly annoyed, would again maintain his innocence. Feel the, the empathy, that they don't feel that you have any remorse. And who are we talking about? What we're talking about is what happened in 1999. The woman who is now deceased, who mm -hmm. took her own life. I was on 60 Minutes last night. We right. talked about it, you know, um, three days out. Uh, I think the important thing is that, you know, this isn't about me. You know, the story of Nat Turner as an American, as American people, to know the story about a man who was erased from history. At some point, you know, I think that that's uh, where our focus should be, you know, especially now. It, you, it, it can't really be, I'm sorry, it can't mm -hmm. just be dismissed, mm -hmm. what happened. It has oh, to be ad addressed course, and then to be course. able. And I've addressed it so many, you know. So many times. I dressed, did you see the 60 Minutes last night? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, and, and, I, and I addressed it with, with Anderson. You know. I talked about that last night. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a, not, not everybody saw last night. This yeah, is well, this morning. you know, I'm not going to go right back. You know, okay. you know, I was proven innocent, and I'm not going to apologize, I, you know, for, for that. You know, I'm, I feel terribly about that situation. For the context of this story, it would be later found out that Parker's accuser would be a white woman named Julia Parker. In reaction to Majors' assault accusations, many would highlight race as a factor on why Majors was in his current situation as well. The history of white women accusing black men of false accusations has been at times seen through history. Parker's decision to not showcase guilt for Hollywood and mainstream media would be a roll of the dice, as it's known that America can better digest black men on their knees. Parker's highly anticipated film would crumble in front of the cameras as his personal life became the biggest story. The near investment of $17.5 million by Fox Searchlight for Birth of a Nation would be the company's largest investment for a film and would be set up to not make profit due to the controversy. 
For Hollywood executives, this would add a strike against the once held actor. Parker's narrative would change in an instant from next to next please. Hollywood has to be remembered as show business. Since its early days when they would invest in stars and control their names, personal lives, and career, Hollywood's intention was to generate and protect their assets, which is why the question of do black stars get a second chance is fair to ask. It is a fact that Parker would be ruled not guilty in a court of law, and even his white counterparts who were found guilty of crimes and accusations seem to have recovered their careers and moved on. Parker's last noteworthy film dates back to 2019 for the project American Skin, with a budget of just $5 million and would be given a video on demand release. While promoting the film, Parker would reflect on his response to the controversy. Three years ago, I was pretty tone deaf to the realities of certain situations that were happening in the climate. And I've had a lot of time to think about that. And I've learned a lot from it. And being tone deaf, there were a lot of people that were hurt in my response and the way I approached things. I apologize to those people. It appears that Hollywood doesn't go the extra lengths to increase the shelf life of black stars. Is it because they should be thankful for being at the table? Or is it a reflection of the psychology of their consumer, white America, not having empathy for black failures? Spike Lee, who would work with both stars, would appear to be empathetic to Parker's troubles. In an interview with Variety, Lee would explain why he would decide to continue supporting Parker. He explained to me the growth he had gone through and also the pain. And when he said that, I said, come on, brother, I'm with you. That's why I'm here. One user on Akoli would bring everything together by writing, I feel like Jonathan Majors is getting all the roles Nate Parker would have got. It is unknown how close Majors and Parker are, but they would share a moment together before Majors' latest scandal back in July of this year. And it makes you wonder, did Nate ever get a chance to warn Jonathan of his mishaps? And how important it is to guard your personal life the more your profile grew? Until then, we all will see if Major stops at one strike or if he'll be given a second chance.